Hey everybody, welcome to Flannel Panic with me, Just Tori, right now. Um, I'm sorry, it's been a long time. I ran into some personal issues and life troubles and whatnot, but uh, we're gonna try to get back into the swing of things. And I got permission from Jazz to do a solo let's play for this one, and then we're gonna try to do work on Dark Souls 3 for this weekend. So hopefully, we'll get those videos out to you guys. And uh, let's go ahead and start a new game with Skyrim, my favorite game. And uh, this is the special edition, so what fresher way to make it more fresh than to freshen it up with a fresh let's play of freshness, ha 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 And the scrolls have foretold of black wings in the cold that when brothers wage war come unfurled, all the wind bane of kings, ancient shadow unbound, something something penis fart burglar ting. I don't, I don't fucking know, dude. Let's get into it. I've already played this, so this is my first time playing the the special edition. So the the whole chill factor thing is totally worn off. I don't I don't get chills anymore from seeing the intro and how good it looks, and you know all the famously shitty bugs that still exist for some reason. But whatever, it's it's a. Uh, it's near to me. It's dear to me. I used to play pretty much eight hours a day. Every day. Um, shit. I just unplugged my laptop by accident. So, frame rate dip. Whoopsies. Sorry, you guys. Um, but yeah, I used to play every day when it, uh, the year came out. Every day. After school for seven hours. Same as us. And that thief over there. Uh, what did he steal? Skyrim is my question. Empire was nice and lazy. They hadn't been looking for you. The stone of course we have with Amethyst. You there, you and me, we shouldn't be here. It's the storm cloaks the Empire wants. Dude, We're that guy needs a bath. Sisters in vines now. Shut up back there. No, the you Empire? shut up. Uh, fingers crossed for the uh, the flaily cart uh, glitch. The Jarl of Wormhelm, you are the leader of the rebellion. This is exposition. I swear to God, if they just started this with narration, it'd be the same fucking thing. Kind of like Oblivion. Oblivion started with narration from Patrick Stewart, I believe. Uh, when I started playing Elder Scrolls, I came in. Uh, when Oblivion came, because that was around the time I was like, well, that was 2005, which would have been 11 years ago, so I was like, 10? No, wait, was it 2005 or 2007? I don't fucking remember. I think it was 2007, so I would have been like 13. I digress. Anyway, I was a preteen, and Oblivion came out, and um, I think we had it on Xbox 360. No, wait, that was the Game of the Year edition. I don't know. Fuck it. Childhood. Let's just say that Elder Scrolls Oblivion also has a special place in my heart. And then, um, and that used to be my favorite game. I really liked, uh, the environment and, like, the spells and the quests and, like, the weird, like, army of, like, the same person voice acting kind of thing, uh, which I always thought was hilariously funny. Like, there's, uh, there's one part in Oblivion where... It's supposed to be like a crowd cheering, and it's literally like all the same voice being like, Yay! Yay! Like at at the exact same time, so it just sounded like a deep echo, and it's really fucking funny. If you haven't played Oblivion, you should probably check it out. I don't know if it's aged well, but uh, Skyrim is kind of a good landing point for how current video games are. It is very accessible, and that's and a, and a lot of people don't like that. A lot of people wanted to be like this perfect RPG that was going to be like more like Morrowind and less like like every other RPG. But then Bethesda moved in the more accessible direction, I guess, because they wanted more money. But that's beside the point. But um, you know, Skyrim's cool. I like Skyrim. It is uh, it was really fun. It was really innovative when it came out in 2011. Damn, that was five years ago. Um, but yeah, and. You know, I was a troubled child it's when I was 13, I guess. Not 13. When Skyrim came out, I was 17. And I was going through a lot of shit. No, I was 16. And then I turned 17. No. Man, I'm having memory problems all day, every day. Ooh, I should go to a doctor. 
I never, ever, 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 ever. I never ever understood why Ulfric isn't just executed on the spot. I don't understand why they capture him and then take him to a place to be executed. Why didn't they just kill him when they could have killed him? According to the ambush, it was like 10 to 1. And there's like only fucking 10 people here. That's like 100 people. <laughs> Come on, dude. Literally just open a barrage of arrows and Ulfric's fucking dead. There's no need to make this show. But that's a plot hole that we won't approach. I am going to try to do a stealth archer. So I can play as my favorite race, which is Argonians. I mean, Wood Elves are probably better for stealth archery because they get the archery bonus, but who fucking cares? Argonians look cooler, number one, and number two, have a better uh, birth power, which is uh, basically increases your uh, healing rate by like a billion and you regenerate health, which is nice. I'm going to spend a little time in the character creator, so that's probably going to be the most of this episode, and I really apologize if that's boring for people, but fuck you guys, I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> um, I have had characters where I have spent, like, legitimately one hour uh, doing character creators. I'm going to try to do this really quickly, though. Don't worry. Uh, you're not going to be here for, like, an hour. It's going to be on my entire Let's Play, right? Um, let's go with the red spiky eyes i'm not gonna bother with the brow or the mouth and then i'll do some hair look well, hair quote unquote i'll make it look like a, a little raptor or a comparable dinosaur and i will name my character something like jester because fuck it why not do you really want to have me sit here and create a name for like 10 minutes no so shut up <laughs> what should we do she's not on the list uh, so, starting this, I realized that, um, everyone in this game is racist. <laughs> They're like, what's up, Argonian? It's like, if I walked out in the street and I was just like, what's up, black? <laughs> like, no one would do that. I mean, you, you could do that to, like, animals, but Argonians aren't animals. And they do it to, like, the human races, too. They're just like, hey, what's up, Britain? Be like, what's up, Spanish? Uh, what's up, white? What's up, Canadian? It's just very, very weird and racist and kind of xenophobic, but like every character does it, so I guess it's just normal in Tamriel to be like, hey, what's up, race? But you know, whatever. Don't put me down or restore the peace. Don't be a dick. Um, definitely not a dragon. It, it was definitely not, and you, no, none of you should be alarmed. Just carry on. Carry on with the last rites and not executing Ulfric immediately. Lepitalo, shut up! We're allowed to go through. <laughs> As you wish. Oh man, that priest must feel so hurt. You kind of do, but whatever. He's supposed to be courageous in his death, but it just comes off like an angry douche. But I mean, wouldn't you be the same if you're getting surprise executed? <laughs> What's up, dog? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> My dog's in the room. That's who I said what's up, dog, to. She's sleeping, though. She is very cute. She's uh, a year old, I think. Either a year or a year and a half. I can't remember. But um, she's half spotter, half Dobo Argentino. Which is like a mastiff breed. She looks exactly like a pit bull. She's very cute though. She's very friendly too. So everybody comment what's up dog. Like, like, comment, and subscribe. What's up dog. <laughs> I feel like there's enough dragon imagery and like just Tamriel like right now that they would just know it's a dragon it wasn't that far away it was like right there and it just landed on that fucking tower get the charge people over here get the out here. all right all right come on way ahead of you dude bye so I'm just gonna rush past all these and just be like, da 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 da, ba! And the wee! And keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, just keep running, 
also check out my elite skills. That's L33T for those who are not elite. Ha 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 ha. And then turn, turn, and keep going, and turn, and dodge, and turn, and trample this lady, and keep going, duck up the arrow and just keep going keep going keep going keep going and then you're here and now you have to make a choice and then i was just going to choose imperials because they you get better equipment if you start off with them i guess oh i should show storm clothes though because the like you get they have more bows so you get more arrows doesn't matter though it doesn't matter in the long run and honestly i could just give myself whatever i wanted because this is a pc and i can do console commands no it was a giant winged lizard we should keep moving. Come here. Let's make it Yes. There you go. Ah, oh, my around. chest. There should be plenty of gear to choose from. I'm going to see if I can. Alright. So I'm gonna use the sword real quick. Let's keep moving. Yes, let's keep moving because the dragon's definitely coming inside. My butthole. Uh, what? Huh? What? What? Huh? What? Huh? Wee! Na 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 Pull this lever. Na 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 na. I'm not just yanking your chain. <laughs> oh, whatever. I like how this lady just sits here and it's like, yeah, just, just, just cut me. Same with this dude. I kind of glitched out the game, but it happens. How did I end up behind him? Oh man, I love the sound in this game too. All everything has such a satisfying kind of impact to it, like blades and particularly fucking axes and maces. They have this like really satisfying like crunch. That's like <laughs> it's really nice. Oh, I just woke up my dog. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Go back to sleep. It's okay. Da, 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 da. Killing this guy, killing this guy. Slit! And slice, slice, slice. Slice. Oof, jeez. That was loud. Oh, uh, because I leveled up at the same time. Da, da, potion. Potion. I'm sorry if I'm uh, rushing a little bit. I just know where everything is because I've played this game for like five years. And you know, there's there's nothing really new about it. It's just updated lighting. It looks a lot better. It looks. Oh, the skeleton fell off the wall. I was about to kill the torturer by accident. Not that I'm condoning torture or anything. But he's not an enemy. Oh wait, stop! Ah, I always forget who I'm attacking. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> um, there's no book there. Okay. Wait. Did it? Oh yeah, it's one of those things where the stuff here disappears off the table. So I'm gonna keep going. I'd have to wait to get lockpicks. But yeah, if the torturer did die, we could skip this whole fucking dialogue, which is nice. I usually just murder him for that reason. So selfish. But yeah, so if you're trying to choose someone in the war, just know that both sides kind of suck. It's realistic. It's like. Stormcloaks are obviously racist, and I'd honestly compare them to the Confederate States, but whatever. But it, it is also like a religious freedom thing, and they don't want to be part of the Thalmor, and Thalmor is like pure fucking evil. Thalmor is like Nazi level evil. And then uh, the Empire like wants to unify everybody, but they're doing it in like an imperialistic manner and making people assimilate their cultures and whatnot, and that's never good. So, uh, just remember that both people suck, and that, uh, wars are bad. But this is a video game, so do whatever the fuck you want. Except try to murder both of them, because they're both essential characters, and you can't kill essential characters. Unless you go into console commands, then it fucks up your game, and you're probably gonna have to restart. Wow. I'm getting fucked. 
How the fuck does that guy do? <laughs> yes, Bo. Ha ha. Taste my blade. Taste my change. Yay! I can take his bow now. All right, so I got a bow, and I'm gonna use it in a second after I kill this guy. So I'm probably just gonna have a sword as a secondary weapon, just because using bows in open combat is just not easy in the slightest. Not easy in the slightest. Let's, uh, uh, oh yeah, I didn't assign it to my favorites. Hitting the up button like it means something. Here we go. I mean, restoration is always good to do, just in case you run out of potions. You don't even really have to invest in Magicka if you do restoration with like a warrior or a mage. Because restoration doesn't cost that much. And especially like the healing channel, you can just channel it until you're all healed up. And, and it's nice. Probably. And honestly, like, unless you're doing a mage, all you need to do is put points in health. Putting points in stamina is kind of useless. I mean, it increases your carry weight, but that's about it. And also increases your stamina, duh. But there aren't really that many instances where you can't just, like, speed regenerate stamina or whatever while you're fighting. Like, there aren't that many instances where you actually need stamina. Like, need, need stamina. Oh, I was supposed to switch to the bow. I'm sorry, you guys. I forgot. Yeah, I'm a heal, I'm a heal, I'm a heal. And then I'll go ahead and favorite the bow. And bow. And I'll go ahead and increase my bow damage. With the perks. I also am, um, if you've never played this game, or you just never cared enough to pay attention, there's uh, the warrior constellation and the thief constellation, I guess, in the backgrounds, which I thought was a really nice touch, and it's really pretty, too. And it looks even better, and it's like more obvious in the special edition. Let's go ahead and stealthily shoot this bear. Haha, -ha, bear! Right in your booter hole. <laughs> I got the word booter hole from Jack Septicai. He's one of my heroes. Same with Mark and Gra and Graham Grumps and the game <laughs> and the game Grumps. I was about to say game Gumps, like Forest, like if two Forest Gump clones were just in like a Let's Play group, they'd be called the Game Gumps. <laughs> oh man. So we're finally out of Helgen and stuff. So let's watch all the wind fly off into the distance. And then I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching me and uh, Flannel Panic. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.